Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is the 18th of January 2020. Here to give you all an update on Bitcoin's price as well as why some people are looking for Bitcoin to move lower throughout 2020. People are even saying that Bitcoin won't even reach $20,000 for 2020. Now what are these individuals talking about? That's what we're going to talk about on this video. We're going to look at this article and then as always at the end of our videos, we give you our updated and our latest forecast for that particular cryptocurrency that we're talking about on the video. So make sure you keep it tuned in at the end of the video to see what we're expecting Bitcoin to do before anyone else. If it's your first time watching our video, hit that subscribe button, like and share the video, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, our website, all those links will be in the description of this video so now why bitcoin won't hit twenty thousand dollars in 2020 is what some people are saying we're going to try to figure out what are they talking about this was an article came from coin for mania on the 16th of january 2020 and how many bitcoin enthusiasts they are expecting bitcoin to move higher in price there's no doubt about it there's you know, we got the halving that's coming in May 2020, uh, some of the economic financial instability that's going on across the globe. A lot of other things could spur interest in Bitcoin as being a safe, reliable asset during financial turmoil. So, yes, many people are looking for Bitcoin to move higher. But the question is, how high will Bitcoin go? There was an a poll of a group of individuals who follow Bitcoin and they went ahead and have given their predictions as to what Bitcoin price will be throughout 2020. About 82% of those individuals predicted that Bitcoin price will move higher. So we got a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of optimism going on in Bitcoin for this cryptocurrency to see higher prices, but can it break $20,000? We got one individual that goes by the name of Jimmy Song. He predicts that Bitcoin would increase by 20%, right? From where it started the year of 2020. When Bitcoin started trading in 2020, it was around $7,200. So 20% from $7,200 is right there around 85, 89. And Bitcoin is already there today. So 18 days into the market of Bitcoin trading in 2020, Jimmy Song prediction has already came to pass. Now, we do got some naysayers, some people who are not fond of Bitcoin at all. This individual goes by the name of John Hawkins. He is a doctor at the University of Cambria. He's stated that Bitcoin won't hit $5,000, that Bitcoin would hit, excuse me, Bitcoin would hit $5,000 within the first three months of 2020. So here we are in the first month and Bitcoin is trading around $8,800 right now. And he even expects things to get worse for Bitcoin by year end. This is one situation of which Bitcoin can see higher prices in 2020. The upcoming halving will propel Bitcoin's price upward. We might already be in the midst of that right now. The average price that many people are seeing Bitcoin hitting is $14,275. The only agreement, disagreement is John Hawkins, who is predicting $2,000 price. And the reason why is because Bitcoin has not made any substantial progress in becoming a payments instrument and may face stronger rivals in 2020, such as Facebook Libra, such as the digital yuan, such as CBDCs. Jimmy Song predicted $22,375 end of year value. But then, then this article just state 
that Jimmy Song predicts that the cryptocurrency would increase by 20% confusion it is vital to note that these are mere predictions as Bitcoin highly volatile nature means no one knows exactly where its price will go next so what's the point of you writing this article Wilford Michael why did you write this article if you're going to end it on this sentence doesn't nobody know where Bitcoin price is going to go that's ridiculous everyone is giving their predictions everyone is getting their ideas about Bitcoin and they have an event but the actual truth is on the price chart I wanted to substantiate whether or not this actual uh, poll of penalists and Bitcoin's price actually came to fruition because it stated that it was done from finder.com so I went ahead and pulled it up right here so this is it right this is the actual article that this article is feeding off of okay it was written by Madeline Gracie from the 13th and it was only three panelists that was it John Hawkins Jimmy Song and Dr. Elvira Solji so I wanted to show you let me show you this right here first alright so look at this this image price of Bitcoin on January 1st 2020 was at $7,200 20% from there it would be $85.89 forecasted price of Bitcoin on March 31st 2020 18 days in we already surpassed that so unless you know that even with the predictions of the so-called panelists that they get it wrong as well too so if we already surpass this prediction it's very feasible for us to surpass fourteen thousand two hundred seventy five dollars before the end of 2020 one more thing I wanted to show you before we look at the price chart <laughs> excuse me one of the things I wanted to show you before we look at the price chart for Bitcoin is the sentiment of the overall cryptocurrency space a lot of people are feeling very optimistic about Bitcoin 75% of the individual who was polled on this looks very positive in Bitcoin Ethereum is about 50 50 XRP only 25% of the market feels positive about this cryptocurrency Litecoin 8% EOS 8% Binance coin Tezos Bitcoin cash all are looking pretty good in terms of positivity for their particular protocol Tron is probably the one with the worst negativity about 58% of the market feels negative about Tron followed by Monero Litecoin and EOS and then Stellar what's going on in the market for the cryptocurrency space you should also note that you, you should be able to see those things on the price chart for those cryptocurrencies so now let's talk about Bitcoin though let's go ahead and stop this right here and last time we did our video in Bitcoin was on the 16th of January and you all can see that we transpired and expected Bitcoin to see some higher prices and that's precisely what it did we originally wanted or saw the market in Bitcoin moving lower but then we saw it on multiple time frames and saw that there's more strength being revealed so we opted to go for higher price and as you can tell exactly what the market did so at least could have got about 1.98 percent out of our forecast from the 16th of january if it was able to cast that nine thousand dollar mark could have got about three percent so pretty good to see that play out in the market in bitcoin let's go ahead and get rid of it and as i zoom out of this daily price chart you guys can still tell that bitcoin is following this ascended line 
which is a very positive thing. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this particular line there because it's not being utilized. And we're still going to follow this market in Bitcoin travel alongside that line. As long as that continue to happen, you know that Bitcoin is in an upward trajectory. Plain and simple, easy to see. Zooming out, you can tell here that maybe around $9,200, we could find some resistance into the market for Bitcoin. $9,200. So the market in Bitcoin is still giving us strength. Four hour chart in Bitcoin, you can still see that we're just stagnant right now. At the moment, we're not getting any inducement to move higher in Bitcoin on the four hour price chart. Three hour time frame still getting the same type of idea. Two hour price chart still reflecting the same thing. Okay. So the question is, will the market in Bitcoin continue to see higher price? That is going to be our forecast. It's going to be yes, as long as we trade above this line. Okay. The market is still reflecting that it is wanting to move higher in price. We're going to continue to play that out in our forecast in Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and create, and this is going to be on the daily time frame as well. I wouldn't be surprised to see the market though in Bitcoin try to break this city line sideways. So that's why we're going to emphasize $8,600 in the market for Bitcoin has to be maintained for that support area. And we would TP the market in Bitcoin at $9,200 or around it. So I'll say like $9,189 would be our TP location in Bitcoin, even though it's possible that it could hit that $9,200 level. Okay. So the expectation into the market in Bitcoin is still for it to see some higher price. Now, I just wanted to remind you that it is possible that we could break this ascending line sideways. But as long as we do not break that $8,600 to the downside, that is very positive in terms of Bitcoin continuing to see those higher prices. OK, so the strength in the market in Bitcoin is still there from a daily perspective. Let me see what we look like on the weekly time frame, uh, weekly time frame. We definitely are in a bullish fashion in Bitcoin to where the movement to the upside is still in play. Just want you to be careful on a weekly to monthly time frame because we could get a very quick movement to around like $9,500 and then come right back down. It's something that I'll be on the lookout for in Bitcoin as we continue to move out over the next couple of weeks. But yeah, we're going to continue to play the market in Bitcoin with the higher prices. This is our new updated forecast, our latest in Bitcoin. And given the fact that many of those predictions on that article is already came and passed, $20,000 all time high is still feasible for 2020 questions comments as always let us know make sure you always maintain that profitability and i'll see you on the next one